Meanwhile, a Bell County jury has now sentenced Colleen daycare owner Courtney Casanas to two and a half years in prison. This after a one year old was found unresponsive in her care and then later died. Now the jury returned that verdict today just before four after convicting Casanas of criminally negligent homicide yesterday. Channel 6 says Andrew Moore has been following this case for several days. He joins us live from the Bell County Justice Center. Andrew, was this what people expected? Hey guys, yesterday Casanas was convicted of a third degree felony, and that means that generally speaking, she would get two to 10 years of jail time. However, it turns out that under Texas law, the jury could also move towards probation, giving her no jail time at all. So the defense was pulling out all the stops to try to get that today, and she took the stand for the first time in the entire trial. In one exchange, she told the jury, everyone looks at me like I'm a monster. It was just a big accident. I'm hurting for Miranda and Miss Jackson very much, and I think of him all the time. The jury also heard from Casanas' sisters, her aunt, family friends, stepfather, even 13-year-old daughter. Many of the jury's worst punishments, many people said the worst punishment was knowing that she was responsible for Jackson's safety when he died. Her aunt Elizabeth Martinez told the jury, we've all made stupid mistakes. She's going to deal with it for the rest of her life. The worst punishment she'll have was to know she lost him on her watch. The prosecution, on the other hand, did not push for a particular punishment. Perhaps the strongest statement against Casanas' freedom came from Assistant DA Fred Burns, who said, is it so unjust that she pay for the consequences of what she's done? The defendant doesn't seem to really get it. At some point, she's going to have to sit and come to grips with what happened in a way that I don't think she has. But it turns out that jury gave her a definitive no on probation. Instead, those 2.5 years in prison. But before Cassandra was taken away, Jackson's father uh, was able to approach her and speak one last time. He told her this was not about revenge against a monster. It was just about justice for his son. Live at uh, the Bell County Justice Center, Andrew Moore, Channel 6 News. All right. Thank you, Andrew.